welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am super excited because I am sharing a skincare and makeup routine for those days when my skin is just not having it. So for me, that's every month when my special friend arrives and anytime I get super stressed or anxious, which for me happens kind of frequently. I've been dealing with bad skin kind of my whole life. It's gotten much better in my 20s, but for some reason it just, it won't go away. However, I have matured a lot in my routine since I was in high school. And so now I've kind of narrowed down the things that I have to do to kind of combat the bad skin and not make it any worse. I feel like everyone gets a pimple here or there, especially in your teens and 20s. 20s. And so I'm hoping that my routine helps someone else out there who's battling with some bad skin problems and is looking for something to combat it. So before I start with the routine, I want to share a teeny tiny bit of my skincare journey. So it all started when I was 12 or 13 and I started to hit puberty and get little pimples all over my face. I was really, really embarrassed about it and I would do anything and everything to get rid of them. I didn't really want to tell my parents that I was upset or dealing with it, so I would buy whatever I could afford with the little money I made in my side jobs. So whether that was like a peely mask or those little like Neutrogena spot treatments or a Cetaphil spot treatment, I would literally try everything. And I pretty much just abused used my skin until it was dried out and oily and pimply and flaky and just disgusting. And it wasn't until I was in college that I started to really think about what I should be doing to fix my skin problems. Eventually, I went to a dermatologist and got a prescription that had my skin pretty much perfectly under control. And by the time I graduated college, it was pretty much 100% clear, except for the stray pimple here or there around my period. After being on this prescription for three or four years, I decided to give my skin a break from all the chemicals and just get back to the natural basic skincare routine. But the pimples didn't go away completely, and I have a bit of a picking problem. I have a tendency to just kind of mindlessly pick at my face whenever I'm stressed or anxious. My boyfriend is always slapping my hand away like, Shannon, stop touching your face. And so I've still been dealing, even at 26, with some skin problems. But recently I've kind of narrowed down a routine that when I see the problems starting to come, I can try to nip them in the bud with the least products that cost the least amount of money possible. So now let's get into what I, a 26 year old with no prescription has been doing to combat my own skin problems. Although before we start, I would like to disclaim that I am not an expert, I am not a dermatologist, and I know that everyone's skin problems are different. So these are just some things that have been working for me in a more pared down adult routine. So let's start with the first thing I do in the morning when I start to see a problem arising. Usually for me, it's around my chin and my forehead, which right now it is both because I just finished my period. So the first thing I do is I wash my face with a gentle daily facial cleanser. This this one is from Cetaphil and I use the normal to oily skin one. The dermatologist that I saw in college recommended this to me because she said it would be gentle and it wouldn't irritate my skin and so I wouldn't get that like oily flaky crap that I used to have all the time. I was using some really harsh cleansers when I was younger. So I wash my face with that and then recently I have discovered a mask that I totally love. You've probably seen this around the internet and I'm really not one to like follow a trend and I'm always like, ugh, that's overrated. This thing. But my friend that I live with, Denise, has this Aztec secret Indian healing clay that I've been seeing all over the internet. And she said that it's actually pretty good. So I started trying it. You just mix a little bit of this with some organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. And I mix mine with a little bit of water. So it's a little bit less potent. And then I just apply it on my face and leave it on for about 15 minutes. On the back of this thing, it says to leave it on for five to 10 minutes for delicate skin and 15 to 20 for normal skin. I would highly, highly, highly recommend not doing it for more than five minutes the first time time. It can make your face really red and tight. I am saying this from experience because one time I was writing a cover letter and completely forgot about it for like a good 20 to 30 minutes and I took it off and my face was red for like two hours. But if you have less sensitive skin, this stuff is a miracle worker. Basically, if I see pimples coming on or I start to feel self-conscious about my face, I try to use it once every couple of days. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So after I've done all of my masks, I make sure my skin is nice and clean and dry. And I go in with my regular daily moisturizer. I really never change this. I've been using this stuff for years. This is the Amino Smart Essentials Daily Nourishing Moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 30. SPF is super important, especially for me when I have pimples. So I wear this SPF every single day. Works really well, keeps me hydrated. I learned that it's really important for me to moisturize, even though my skin can be really oily. When I was younger, I would just strip, strip, strip all the oil away and not put any moisture back in it and it just made my skin worse. After I moisturize, I like to put on an eye cream because if my skin is red and patchy, I definitely want my eyes to at least be bright. I've just started using the old Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream. I was using um, 
the Origins like sparkly looking one, the orangey vitamin C one. But I actually like this much better. It's only been a couple of weeks. I'll keep you updated. But yeah, eye cream, always, always useful. So after I finish all of my skincare and my skin is nice and clean and moisturized, I move on to makeup. Now, a lot of times you feel like you wanna wear like a ton of makeup just to cover up all the spots when your skin isn't so good, but I have found that that is very counterintuitive for me. And so I like to wear lighter makeup on days when I have quite a few spots. <laughs> Preferably, I would wear no makeup, but I have a tendency to touch my face and pick at it, as I said before, and I'm less likely to do so when I have makeup on because I don't really wanna mess it up. So I like to go with a super, super lightweight CC cream because I hope that it has the skincare ingredients it says it does. This one is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. It also has SPF, like my moisturizer, so perfect for my skin being super, super pale. And I like to apply this with a beauty blender. Now I have a tendency to be a little bit lazy, so I don't typically wash my makeup brushes or my beauty blender on a regular basis. But when my skin is bad, I try to go out of my way to wash it every single time I use it. So after I wash it, I use it to blend in this CC cream. And then I go in with my usual concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me. Now I'm still pretty lazy with this. And so most of the time I would just stick it right on my face with the doe foot applicator. But I know that's really unhygienic and can spread the germs and the bacteria around. So I'm trying to put it on the back of my hand first, then onto my face and then blend it in with my beauty blender in order to not transfer the bacteria from my spots onto the rest of my face. I try to be really light-handed with my face makeup and be okay with the fact that my spots are showing through a little because everybody has skin problems, everyone deals with it, and no one is actually really looking at my pimples, at least I don't think so. So after I've gone in with my base, I use all cream products because they jive a little bit better with my skin. Powder can irritate it or dry it out, especially when I'm already a little pimply. So I go in with my usual milk bronzer, NYX, blusher, and then eyebrows, lashes, etc, etc. Sometimes I like to be more creative with my eyeshadow and with my lipstick, but today I'm going all natural, just lashes, eyebrows, and a nice light pink color. Another thing I like to do on bad skin days is put my hair up at least a little bit. So today my hair is relatively clean and nice, so I'm only gonna pull it into a half up, half down ponytail, which you can see on my head right here. Basically this just keeps some of the hair out of my face. My hair gets just as oily as my skin, and I don't want that rubbing all over it. I also have a tendency to touch my hair, and if I touch my hair, get the bacteria on it, and it touches my face, blah, blah, blah. You know where I'm going with this. Hair out of my face. So don't spread the pimples around. So after I've done my skincare, my makeup, and my hair. I am ready to go and take on the day, pimple or no pimple. My bad skin day nighttime routine is actually probably the most important part and the part I'm typically the laziest with. So on a regular day, I can be pretty lazy with makeup removal, but when my skin is bad, I really, really do not want the makeup just sitting on it all day. Plus, I want to use my nice skincare, and so I like to go in with the fastest, easiest, and most effective makeup remover I possibly can, which for me is an oil cleanser. And so right now I'm using this one from St. Ives. It's the Exfoliate and Nourish Coconut Oil Scrub. Um, it's not my absolute, absolute favorite. The scrubby things I feel a little weird putting near my eyes to get off the waterproof mascara, but it does the job. It's cheap and the exfoliating particles are kind of nice on my face. I don't know. So after I've removed my makeup, I like to double cleanse. So I go back in with my Cetaphil cleanser. So now this is the most important part of my skincare routine. After I stopped using the prescriptions that I talked about earlier, I was really hard pressed to find something that I could put on my face, like a spot treatment or a serum that would heal my skin. That is until I discovered The Ordinary. You've probably heard of this stuff, um, The Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. It's super popular. I've heard tons of YouTubers and skincare bloggers talk about it, but honestly, it is amazing. It's like, I think less than 10 bucks for a bottle of this and completely fixed my skin. I use it every single night and occasionally in the morning when my skin is super bad, but I definitely would not use it after this, um, clay stuff because that would be way too irritating. So today I am only using it at night. The stuff is seriously amazing, especially for under 10 bucks a pop. On top of that, I like to use a nice moisturizing oil, also from The Ordinary. This is the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. Also under $10, also fabulous. As I said before, when I was younger, I used to avoid everything moisturizing and especially oils on my skin because it was so oily and pimply. But in my adulthood, I have found that in combination, this oil actually helps balance out my skin, gets rid of all the dryness, and it helps heal those pimples that I have popped already. Last but not least, I go in with an eye cream again because you always want those under eyes nice and bright. Um, sometimes I'll use the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and sometimes 
sometimes I'll use my thicker Kiehl's creamy avocado eye cream, which is currently at my boyfriend's house, so I cannot show it to you, but yeah. That is the other one that I use. Okay, so that is my entire skincare routine for when I'm having a bad skin day. I hope that it helps someone out there who is also struggling with their skin. I love that I have found a routine that is pretty much all very affordable, with the exception of the eye cream, which I have not been able to find a drugstore version of. If you know one, please, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you like to use when you're having a bad skin day. Anything, anything, anything would help. I'm always looking for things to make my skin a little bit better. Because at 26, I really thought that I would have clear, perfect skin already, but I just know I'm gonna be one of those people that's 30 with wrinkles and pimples at the same time. Oh, what was me? Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Now, I am super duper lazy. Can I say super again? Oh my goodness.